Madison? Madison, do you hear? Mike? Are you okay? Just tired, but I found what I was looking for. Was it enough? Can you take it to the authorities? No. If I do that, they won't respond in time. I have to do it. No, you don't. Let the police handle this now. You can let them capture Marburg, expose his involvement. I appreciate the concern. And I appreciate you trying to warn me about Marburg. I didn't want him to kill you. You had such a nice smile in the photograph. I was smiling? Must have been years ago. There it is again. You should do that more. I try. The job gets in the way. I've heard that before. I didn't mean to wake you when I got in. We've had a rough couple days. You didn't wake me. I was waiting for you to come back. I meant to stay awake longer, but you were gone for a long time. I was worried something had happened to you. I'm glad you're back. Me too. I was worried when I came back something had happened to you. Just dreamy. Good ones, I hope. Very. Mike. Is it odd, seeing me in person? I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. Well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through, exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war? Not yet. First, they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Hey. They haven't done a great job so far, so don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I can't shut it off. For them, it's a lot more simple. If Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. I can't let that happen to you either, Mina. You've been there for me since the beginning. And it sounds like Alpha Protocol isn't choosing who survives. That means you're in danger, too. Am I right? Yes. Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Mike, I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike. About Madison? In Rome? I... That's behind me. I didn't mean to put you in danger. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Well, that's pretty insulting. What, do I have halitosis? I didn't mean that part. Good, because that hurt my feelings. Suppose you already have a plan. Save the day. Somehow. But first I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy, and prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. If you're sure. If I let anything happen to you now, I'd never forgive myself. Trust me, it's purely selfish. Just be careful. I think we're only going to get one shot at this. This could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. Scarlet? Come in, Mike. Your door was open. 
You don't seem surprised. How did you know it was me? I would have known if it wasn't you. Footsteps are like signatures. That's an interesting skill to have picked up. In case you haven't guessed already, I don't have much of a social life. What is it you needed, Mike? Got another story to pass along? What's wrong? You're not even looking at me. Maybe because I'm not sure what I'm looking at sometimes. It was a simple request. Very little about you seems simple. I was pretty certain you might be Interpol or military. But my gut tells me intelligence. But none of my contacts have heard of you. Contacts? So you've been checking up on me? I didn't want to, but you really don't leave me much choice if I want to know the truth. If I was intelligence, is that something you think I'd tell a journalist? You tell me. And I'd like you to be honest with me, if you can. I think I deserve that much. There's not much to say. I used to work for the United States government. I still do, in my own way. What do you mean? I'm not exactly welcome back home. When you met me in Saudi Arabia, that was my last official mission with the U.S. After that, I've been on my own. Except for people I've met on the way. Like you. It doesn't sound like you've had a chance to relax in Saudi Arabia. That's an understatement. My military and intelligence contacts didn't have much on you. Not surprising. So, I checked the corporate gossip. Halbeck's taken quite an interest in you. Let's just say Leyland and I don't see eye to eye on business practices. You ever met him? At press conferences? Quite the snake. But that doesn't explain why Halbeck would be after you. I accidentally discovered something in Saudi Arabia I shouldn't have. Something that could ruin Halbeck. What did you find out? I found they'd been selling weapons to Al Samad, and I got proof. Is that why you're here? I don't trust anyone else with it. And if something happens to me, then the world needs to know. It's that bad, huh? Pretty bad. I'll make sure it gets where it needs to go. Are you going to be all right? I have no idea. Do you need to leave right now? No, I can stay. For a little while if you need me to. Considering I might not see you again, I'd like that. The world can wait then. Michael, darling. I was wondering why you were tied up, although I have not expected the reason to be so... Little. Z. Good to see you. You'll have to excuse me if I don't get up. Oh, you will rise to the occasion, Michael, I am sure. It is good you have time to rest with all this trouble going on. This bed. Is this is how you woke up here, yeah? The restraints were a little weaker the first time, and I'm not doped up. The restraints? Hmm. Are they too tight? Enough with the small talk. Why are you here, Z? I am here because I never got the chance to tell you my feelings. And now you have no choice but to listen. Great. Why, Michael, I never thanked you. Humiliating Conrad like that. A girl dreams of such things happening to her boss. Good. If you want to thank me, then let me go. Not quite yet, I think. Michael, I have a, a confession to make. Ever since we met, I have had a certain fondness for you. You are so eager. Okay. <clears throat> it is a shame to see such a fine specimen restrained like this. I am tempted to set you free. I wouldn't want to get in the way of temptation, though I'm a little curious as to why. I do not like Marburg, and he has paid me already. I'm free to leave, but you... you are not. Oh, it is not fair. So, I will let you go. In a moment. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Relax, darling. But not too much. Oh, and I thought I might have to work harder. You would if I wasn't tied down. Shh. Good. Now, no more talking. Okay. Holy. 
now can you let me go? Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael, I unlocked your wrists five minutes ago. You were too busy holding on to your bed to notice. I am flattered. I have done what I must do. Now, you must go do what you must do. Maybe there's something to be said for experience. I wonder if the camera was recording.